now here he is against Willie Casey the Irishman five years ago he took Casey out in the opening round Dickens has been saying it is his destiny to be the world champion what can he do that's a, a big question John it really is what can he do but it certainly rank alongside the likes of Lloyd Hunnigan against Don Curry against Randolph Turpin against Sugar Ray Robinson if he pulls this one off. Oh, it'd, be, it'd be such an amazing win. It'd be the, the biggest win by any British fighter in recent years, that's for sure. I think the Turpin Robinson thing stands alone. 1951, that was. So often with Rigondo, it's a quiet opening as he just looks to see what is opponent has got and he makes you miss by inches centimeters sometimes he wound up on that left hand good jab there from dickens as well that's good a little bit of confidence maybe there for jazza self-confessed bad, bad lad when he was a kid jazza turned his life around with his religion and with his boxing works as a volunteer in soup kitchens and night shelters back home in Liverpool. A proud product of the Everton Red Triangle gym. Didn't miss by a lot there, did he? I think just clipped him as well with that, actually, with our left hand, just as Jazza was just, just spinning round. And just before that, I was just about to say, well, Jazza's in it, he's landed with a punch so far, but then we're going to do a to that. That's the thing with Rigondo, it's very hard and you can't make any mistakes. Behind the scenes, those who've been working say that all through the week Rigondo's been sweetness and light. Come fight night, it's been a slightly different story. <laughs> Business time. Very, very quiet opening round. But this is the rig on the way, isn't it? Just likes to have a look at his opponent. Nice little jab from, from Jazza. Like landing, landing on the gloves there was Jazza Dickens. It's good to see he's willing to let his hands go though when he when he see if he sees the opportunity. Well he can't he can't allow himself to be overawed, can't allow himself to be intimidated. Good shot there from Rigondo in the closing seconds of the round. Right hand gets through. And a little bit of an old-fashioned stare yes, between the two. In the corner, Paul and Michael Stevenson. Positive start. It's nice to get a little taste of the gloves early, you know what I mean? It's good. Sam here. Okay. Now, these, uh, these good fighters, they react to feints. He's going for every feint that you make. What we can start to do now is you've had a good look at him, see now the gears mesh, and we're in there now, you know what I mean? Start them feints going, use on a little feint of bodies, and then come up with a, a four punch combination. Great plate. You don't have to be here, uh, too good with it. Two or three of them around, you know what I mean? Three or four, just enough to stay ahead. Otherwise, stay cagey the way you were. But works great. Two about three or four, then big left hands over the top. Most of them step away from the chair, you know what I mean? Up come under them. I know we come through, but it's not. Okay, nice and relaxed. Face them up, face them up, take it away with the, the out step. Quiet opening round. Did that right hand from Rigondo in the closing seconds? Did that enough to take it for him? Yeah, I think so. I do, I do. It was a very cagey round, but he didn't get he didn't get totally up off uh, Jazz Dickens. That's a good thing, you know. He didn't well overall with anything, but I think yeah, just that little thing. It was a cagey opener by both. Battle of the Southpaws. So many of the great Cuban amateurs over the years have been Southpaws. That was uh, the way, the coaching method. They were encouraged to adopt the southpaw stance simply because it is so awkward He's practically cheating a good left hand there from Rigondo sharp there's no tell in his that's that's the thing about Rigondo as well there's no no tell in his punches he doesn't move the hand before he throws it it goes direct from where it is oh, good left oh good left hand good from Jackson from Dickon he's poker faced as well isn't he Rigondo yeah. doesn't give away any sort of emotion 
I'll tell you what, though, Jazz of Dickens, you know, he's, his tactics are not too bad, actually. You know, he, he, he's trying to stay safe, and then he's when he's when he's going to throw his punches, he's committing fully. So I think someone like with Rigondo, who makes you miss by inches, you ha you, you're afraid to overcommit, so you, you you end up throwing sloppy punches, and then he, he then he makes you pay with it. But Jazz is no, he's flying in with his shots when he decides to throw them. Rigondo just waiting, waiting, waiting for Dickens to commit himself. He might have a long wait. Dickens trying to stay tight, compact, and adopting a cagey approach himself. Look at those faces on the far side of the ring, every one of them not wanting to miss one second because that's all it takes with the blink of an eyelid. Rigondo hasn't really landed a big shot as yet. He's had the one left hand in this round. Dickens responded, so on that uh, on that basis, fairly level, and that yeah. was blocked. It's hardly been a punch thrown for the last minute and a half. Sorry if it sounds a little bit uh, a little bit quiet, but that's the way it is. Dickens not prepared to commit himself. Likewise, Rigondo. And this is where the criticism stems from Rigondo is that he, he he's not willing to to ever take the lead. He's always reacted, never proactive in his work. Dropped by. Top rank, the promoters, and by HBO, the American boxing channel, for precisely that reason. Well, how do you score that? That's got to well, be a they, level round, yeah, it's surely. Be, haven't it? you know, nothing, they both landed with a, with a left hand, that was it. It's a 1 1 draw. Well, let's take a look at them. Oh, There's the left hand of Rigondo. Fantastic shot, isn't it? And here's the left hand. No, no, that's a different angle. From a different from angle, and in a moment, we'll see the left hand of Dickens. Well, if, if that was it, it missed. <laughs> well, what's happened here? I think, I think, I think, I think Jazz is saying he's broke his jaw. He's gone, the fight's over. That one shot, I think, that one shot has ended the fight. It's all over. Well, what an anticlimax. One punch has seemingly ended the fight.